Hey guys, thought I'd make a video on the topic of will NFTs go to zero? I've been seeing this kind of talked about a lot. I know there was a meme that went around saying NFTs are dead. And it's a topic that, you know, I get asked as well, like, will NFTs go to zero? Like, how will these go on to hold value? Industry-wise, I think we're all pretty clear and, and uh, we all accept and understand that this industry is going to be a giant in its own right. Gamers are going to come to this space. Artists are going to come to this space. People building financial protocols and, and platforms and marketplaces using NFT technology will come to this space. And as an industry, I think it's just going to continue moving forward regardless of what cryptocurrencies or any other external factor does just because this industry is, the, at the core of this industry lies innovation and experimenters and artists and creators that don't really give a shit about what other people think. So that sort of mentality, when you have that and you, you add some finances to it, which crypto does, you know, people that bought Ethereum and Bitcoin for pennies five to 10 years ago suddenly are sitting on tens of millions. Some, some, some of them are sitting on billions of dollars worth of wealth. So in their mind, they're just spending, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum that they bought for pennies. But in our world or the US dollar, the fiat world, it's, it's you know, millions of dollars when it hits the headlines. But that's not the case, right? For people in their mind, they're spending Ethereum, they're spending Ethereum and Bitcoin. So will um, NFTs go to zero? As long as there's a society that values something, I don't think it'll go to zero. It's kind of like Pokemon, Pokemon cards, right? When you were young, I'm sure your parents would have been like, what the hell are you doing collecting these cardboard pieces? Why are you staring at them so much? But culture around people that value Pokemon as a genre, as a collectible or whatever, has come to um, appreciate and give value to that. I would spend money to own Pokemon cards, right? Because I don't have it. I want it. And I would spend money to get that. Now, the NFT world is the same thing, right? Suddenly, there's been a, an economy that has formed on the ability to trade tokens. Now, these tokens can represent art and game, game items and anything digital. And suddenly, you can have an economy where as long as, as long as that's kind of sent out into the world and that NFT can transfer between wallets, go from my wallet to my friend's wallet, then, that, then suddenly we have created an economy. It's kind of like if I were to put out, say, 50 sign, uh, rocks out there with my signature on it, and uh, I can't stop my friends who I gave a rock to. each each. I, say I gave each of my friends a rock. I can't stop them from selling those rocks to each other, right? An economy in the marketplace suddenly forms. Maybe someone that um, really likes my work wants to own 10 of those rocks. So he'll be like, I'm willing to spend a thousand dollars each on these rocks. I want them all. And one guy is like, no, I'm not going to send, I'll sell you nine, but if you want the 10th one, you'll have to spend $10,000. And he's like, screw it, I'll buy it. And suddenly people come in like, holy shit, Maddie's rocks are selling for $10,000. They want a piece of action because it seem it looks like an investment. So they'll come in and buy it. And suddenly I've created a marketplace giving these rocks for free, right? Um, that's obviously not going to happen. It was a complete example. But in the digital world, the same thing is happening is, is people are releasing digital art as NFTs and these tokens are transferable through wallets and as long as a society accepts and values these artists and games and these communities and avatars whatever then this and, and continues to grow then um, those will continue to hold value now I think there'll be phases where these art pieces will go for stupid high valuations because you know some collector really wanted it so he paid 50 million dollars but maybe he's one of the fringe collectors and it won't go on to be worth that much so maybe there'll be some peaks and some drops and all that sort of stuff. But in terms of the value and the industry will continue to go, there'll be no such thing as the industry going to zero. There's basically a marketplace that has been created in, in the digital world, which has been people are making uh, items of, of, you know, whether they give value to them or not doesn't matter. But people, others are associating value because they want ownership of those items. If ferocious or uh, you know, Pokemon or a brand or an artist that I love makes a piece, I, Maddie, wants that piece and will spend money to get that from whoever owns that. And if that mindset and that idea and that require that need to own in the digital world exists, then NFTs will always continue to be relevant. Now, that doesn't mean that the NFT that you invested in won't go to zero. It might. I mean, you might have got something that people have just bought purely to buy and sell. Um, there was no like desire or, or love for that project or that idea. It was like, oh, this looks cool. I'm just going to buy it and sell. If everyone has a mindset of the same mindset, then you better believe it will happen that way. People will buy, they will sell. The community will basically pump and dump on each other, right? And there'll be no substance that will create value for that community. And three months, six months, a year down, down the line, everyone will move on. 
and you'll be like, well, okay, um, you know, you would have lost money, you know, that, that might go to zero. And it has happened in the past where some NFT projects have gone to zero in a way. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind. But for, for me, in my opinion and my world of investing, I look for projects or ideas that I personally truly love, whether it be the art or uh, the game, or uh, maybe I love the founder. The founder is doing a great job as as and I have faith and trust in the founder to make a great product and push this whatever I've invested in or bought forward or bring value to my NFT, whether it is an investment or not. And sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes I just want to be part of the community because I like the game, right? I like Treeverse. So I bought some plots. I was like, oh, this is cool. Um, and I love to build a plot and build my world in there and, and showcase my art and stuff. And to me, it doesn't really matter how much the value of that is. But I bought 88 of them because I'm sure other people will value it and it gives me an opportunity to buy and sell. So the industry absolutely won't go to zero. NFTs individually might. And that's where it comes down to anchoring your NFT investment or your purchase in something. Uh, anchoring it in the fact that you truly, truly want and desire and are happy to own that regardless if the price goes to, down to zero is probably the best way to invest. Uh, looking at the data and making sure there's uh, an economy that's strong. Uh, the historical significance, um, brand and creator significance. Um, you know, there's all these other things that, that anchor an NFT long term in terms of its value. So just some thoughts on the industry, NFTs and the the the, the kind of will NFTs go to zero. I think it's going to, there's so much growth to be had in the future. There's so many people that will come to this space that will want NFTs for all sorts of reasons. And if you own those NFTs and they're willing to pay it for whatever is a reason. Um, so, you know, the CryptoPunks thing is a great experiment on that. Uh, anchored in its historical significance, there's only 10,000 of them. So it's got that scarcity within that 10,000. There's only nine alien ones. I believe there's only like 24 ape ones and 88 uh, zombie punks, etc. There's this other rarities. And my, maybe some people really want the best of the best. So they're like, I don't give a shit. Um, I am a billionaire. I want that. I want that alien punk. No matter what, I need to pay. So you've got that sort of a mindset. And suddenly, you know, that's how you see the tens of millions of dollars worth of sales uh, on a single punk. But that was a great experiment. And that's kind of being expanded on in many, many different directions. So... Just some 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 words on that. Um, I hope that clarifies a few things. Or again, it's just my opinion. This world can go in any direction, so you got to be ready to to pivot or um, absorb the information around you and and kind of uh, come up with a different strategy. But that is my um, thoughts on the matter. So hope you guys learn something and share whatever you want on the comments. I always learn from whatever you guys share.